Bluecoat's computer-based training. This training module is designed to provide you with a brief overview of authenticating users with the Bluecoat Proxy SG appliance. This training module is based on SGOS version 6.5.2. Look at the learning objectives for this module. When you have finished this module, you will be able to list the key benefits of enabling secure web gateway authentication on the Proxy SG. Explain the differences between proxy authentication and server authentication. Describe the function of authentication realms on the proxy SG. Describe the function of credential types on the proxy SG. The Bluecoat proxy SG provides user authentication through a secure web gateway. Most secure web gateway deployments enable authentication because it provides visibility at a user level as to who is going where on your network. This allows you to monitor web usage, log what sites are being visited, and who has visited the sites. With authentication enabled, you can pinpoint the user by IP address and the specific workstation they use to access that site. The Proxy SG also provides you with the ability to create more granular network policies based on user group membership. This is a high-level diagram of the main components of the Proxy SG authentication architecture. Note, not all transactions are described here, and the details of the interaction between the Proxy SG and the client differ according to whether an explicit or transparent proxy is used. In this diagram, there are four main transactions when a Proxy SG authenticates a user. A common misconception is that the authentication server or the content server provides the initial credential challenge, but this is not the case. The credential challenge to the user comes from the proxy SG. Authentication realms are created on the proxy SG and are used to validate submitted user credentials with an authentication server. Selecting and configuring realms are explained in more detail in the Bluecoat proxy SG authentication realms training module. The requested content is retrieved, cached, and served only if the authentication is successful. Depending on access logging settings, details of the authentication may be logged on the proxy SG. This module focuses on authenticating users to access remote or local content. The proxy SG also can be used to authenticate administrative users to control access to the management console. Whether you select explicit or transparent proxy deployment is determined by factors such as network configuration, number of desktops, desired user experience, and desired authentication approach. In an explicit proxy configuration, every client system, user agent or browser, must be explicitly configured to use a proxy server. You can choose to either manually configure each client with the IP address and port number of the proxy service, the proxy SG, or you can configure the client to download the proxy settings from a web server. The proxy settings are contained in a file called a proxy auto configuration or PAC file. After the client is configured for explicit proxy, all user requests are sent to the proxy SG rather than the origin content server or OCS. The proxy SG appliance will then determine whether to allow or deny the request based on proxy service and policy configuration settings. For allowed transactions, the appliance will either service the request locally, for example, by returning cached objects, or if necessary, it will send a request to the OCS on behalf of the client. When transparent proxy is enabled, the client, or the browser, does not know that traffic is being processed by a machine other than the OCS. The browser believes it is talking to the OCS, so the request is formatted for the OCS and the proxy determines for itself the destination server based on information in the request, such as the destination IP address in the packet or the host header in the request. To enable the proxy SG to intercept traffic sent to it, you must create a service and define it as transparent. Service is configured to intercept traffic for a specified port or for all IP addresses on that port. A transparent HTTP proxy, for example, typically intercepts all traffic on port 80, 
all IP addresses. To ensure that the appropriate traffic is directed to the proxy SG, deploy hardware such as a Layer 4 switch or a WCCP router or a proxy SG software bridge that redirects selected traffic to the appliance. Traffic redirection is managed through policies you create on the redirection device. A Realm authenticates and authorizes users for access to proxy SG services using either explicit proxy or transparent proxy mode. Multiple authentication realms can be used on a single proxy SG. Multiple realms are essential if the enterprise is a managed service provider or if the company has merged with or acquired another company. Even for companies using only one protocol, multiple realms might be necessary. This would be the case for a company using an LDAP server with multiple authentication boundaries, for example. You can use realm sequencing to search multiple realms at once. Refer to the Bluecoat Proxy SG Authentication Realms training module for more information. HTTP basic authentication is the simplest technique for enforcing access controls to web resources because it does not require cookies, session identifier, and login pages. Basic authentication is merely encoded with Base64 in transit but not encrypted or hashed in any way. Basic authentication is typically used over HTTPS. NTLM is a challenge response authentication protocol that uses three messages to authenticate a client in a connection-oriented environment, and a fourth additional message if integrity is desired. Although Kerberos has replaced NTLM as the default authentication protocol in an Active Directory-based single sign-on scheme, NTLM is widely used in default IWA deployments where customers have not gone through the extra steps necessary to configure Kerberos. The client authenticates to the key distribution center, a service running on a domain controller, when the user logs into the workstation. When the user accesses a network service that requires authentication, such as a proxy SG, the workstation retrieves a service ticket for that service from the KDC. The workstation then presents that service ticket to the service as the user's authentication credential. Refer to the Bluecoat Proxy SG Authentication Credential Types training module for more information. Thank you for watching. This concludes the computer based training on authentication overview. For more information on Proxy SG authentication related topics, visit the following Bluecoat resources. The Knowledge Base and Proxy SG Authentication Web Guide are available on BlueTouch Online at bto.bluecoat.com. Proxy SG Discussion Forums are available at forums.bluecoat.com. For additional questions or comments regarding this training module, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.